Hi everyone, this is Imran. Today in this video training, I will show you how you can create and design a coming soon page in your WordPress website. So let's get to get started. Here I'm on the dashboard of my WordPress website and now we are going to install a plugin. To install plugin, navigate to plugins and click on add new. And here goes the plugin search box and we are going to search for coming soon page plugin and here goes cmp coming soon and maintenance plugin and i'm going to install this plugin just click install now click activate and here you can see the plugin is installed and activated well friends at the same time a new menu comes here cmp settings and it has several sub menus basic setup advanced setup subscribers translation and cmp theme okay i'm going to click on cmp settings so we'll be sent to the cmp coming soon page plugin dashboard and here you can see settings content customize seo and analyze custom css advanced and preview okay if i click on preview okay here goes the preview of the default coming soon page and now let's start with the settings and the first section is general settings and here you can see cmp status and it is disabled but we will have to enable it it's very important just click on enable and now here you can see it's green and it shows three different options whole website home page only whitelist and blacklist if you would like to display coming soon page on the whole website then this option will work for you and you can show the coming soon page only on the home page or you can show it on any specific page okay i have selected whole website and let's see cmp mode as we are going to build a coming soon page then this option will be selected coming soon and landing page and you can save all changes now scroll down here you can see another section available theme at the moment this theme is activated but i want to active this one just click on active and again scroll down now here goes the currently selected activated theme and here goes some other themes but they are in the pro version okay hit save all changes and we are done with the general setting again we can see the preview okay here it is now go to the next tab and content just click on it and here goes logo setup you can add text logo as you can see here you can add any graphic logo or you can disable logo i'm going to choose graphic logo and here goes another option select logo from the media library just click select logo and here is the logo i'm going to insert this logo and you can set custom logo height okay but i think this size is perfect and scroll down here you can see another section main content and something is happening but i'm going to type here we are going to launch soon and here you can add any text i'm going to add some text okay and here goes the graphic background here you can see our background but for graphic background we have several options we can add the default media we can add custom image we can use unsplash library we can add video from youtube or any source we can add graphics pattern we can add solid color we can add gradient okay a lots of options but i'm going to use custom image and here you can see media library option just click on it and here goes the image I'm going to insert this image 
now here you can see set background overlay you can also add overlay that's very fantastic solid color or gradient overlay okay and overlay type and you can just set the opacity okay here it is and background blur you can also blur the background image outstanding features and you are getting it in the free version okay then uh, we are not going to click save all changes we will just do that when we are done okay login icon you can also display the login icon here okay just enable it and the background color of the login icon okay say for example okay this color and you can manage the position of the logo countdown timer setup here you can see countdown time and i'm going to launch this site zone 10 2021 okay it's okay and countdown action no action or height countdown disable coming soon okay no problem no action and subscription form here you will see a form to receive email addresses from the visitors and here you can see several options cmp subscription form mail opt-in integration third-party plugin and disable it i'm going to use this one cmp subscription form and click here enable you can just disable gdpr enable automatic subscription pop-up okay if you enable this you will see a pop-up here and the time duration after 10 seconds and the title subscribers okay and here goes social media if you would like to add some social media icon here i'm going to select facebook twitter youtube and what pinterest and here you can see the options of adding the url of your facebook profile twitter profile pinterest profile and youtube channel url okay say for example for facebook type imran after twitter okay and social icons location footer below content big icon i'm going to choose this option footer small icon and footer content here you can see footer content the credit you can change it just change the url from here type your website url say for example my website imranimu.com and i'm going to change the name okay and finally hit save all changes button and i'm going to refresh this page to see the update oh my goodness it's awesome here goes logo here goes the title time countdown description and i talked about the subscription form okay here it is and here goes the login url icon if you click on here it will be sent you the login url okay fine so let's get back to the dashboard and we have other options to customize here you can see the active color you can change the active color and customize fonts i like poppins and here you can see poppins is selected now font size you can also upload custom fonts just hit save all changes and the next option is seo and analytics you can add favicon just for the purpose of this video i'm going to add 
this one also and seo title you can change seo title seo description seo image and surprisingly you can add google analytics here we will paste the google analytics tracking id and hit save all changes button again and now let's see custom css you can add custom css here and go to advance here you can see whitelist and blacklist setting if you would like to display this coming soon page on any specific page then you can whitelist the page and you can blacklist any page and you can change the custom login url from here okay hit save all changes if you make any change and you can use this bypass notification enable email notification when come down time are expired to zero and status changes notification and new cmp subscriber notification okay put your email address here hit save all changes and uh, we are almost done with the settings now i'm going to get back to the dashboard of this plugin and i'm going to get the website url and i'm going to visit this site through a new incognito window just here it is okay here it is and you can see this pop-up just close it nice logo the title time countdown and description and form okay if i type my address just imran.com hit subscribe thank you and here goes the default on login url just click on it but you will get link of your login url so let's get back and i'm going to check the subscribers and here you can see a new entry fantastic okay friends by now i hope you could follow my training and create a coming soon page like this on if this video helped you and if you could follow it and make a or design a page like this just feel free to leave your opinion in the comment box and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up i would like to hear from you so this is the end of today's training i'll see you in the next video thank you